So you need to move a lot of items from location A to location B. Well, I guess nowadays you would use water streams for that or maybe slime block launchers, but in some situations, minecarts are still an easy solution for collecting, moving and distributing items. Think for example of distributing items over furnaces or offloading freshly harvested bamboo picked up by a minecart. And in such cases, I have found the item transfer speed of hopper minecarts to be very useful. In this tutorial, I want to share a fast loading and unloading station design with you. A short disclaimer here, I designed this based on various ideas I picked up when watching Minecraft content, I did some literature study and I want to specifically mention videos by Nanorex and Exumavoid here, who both created tutorials for minecart loaders similar to this one about 1 million years ago. I will link to their videos in the description below. Even though the design is old, I think there's merit in this update uh, for its speed and maybe compactness, as well as the ability to unload minecarts quickly and not only load them. So I wanted to throw this out there for anyone that might come across this and find it useful. I hope you enjoy. The principle of the minecart loading station is as follows. Incoming minecarts will go up the slanted detector rail and stay there. This block is in place. It allows minecarts to go inside but prevents them from going out again. When they're in this position, they draw items from this chest above. Now when the minecart gets full enough, this piston is retracted, removing the block, allowing the minecart to slide down a little bit and the powered rail will pick it up. So if we demonstrate this, here it goes. I only have one stack of items in there at the moment. It's retracted and there it goes. Now this is also a smart version of the design which has some additional redstone to keep the piston uh, retracted for as long as this chest is empty. You see it will extend again if we put items in there and they get loaded into the system again and it stays open now. And these are the materials that you need for the minecart loading station. You need, of course, your minecart with a hopper, an input chest, you need a single detector rail and a temporary rail. This can be a rail of any type, it doesn't have to be a regular one. And you need a redstone repeater, a hopper, three comparators, a block of redstone, two sticky pistons and a redstone dust. Now, depending on the options that you include, some of these things might not be needed. I'll go into that when we build the, uh, the thing. You'll also need uh, some building blocks, a block to hold your minecart in place, a slab for under the chest and a bunch of junk items to fill the system with. You build the loading station as follows. Just go to the end of your railway and leave a one space gap, place a block there, place a detector rail in the gap that you left and place your temporary rail on top of that block. You can now remove this temporary rail again, place another block up top and on next to that you can place your slab and your chest. We can now move on to the redstone portion of the build and first we'll make the system that will let the minecart go when it is loaded full enough. We do this by adding a comparator like so. We rotate it 90 degrees and put it into subtract mode. Then we place a piston on top of a block like so and attached to the piston we place the block that will hold the minecart in place. Now here you have some options. If you just want to have your minecart fully loaded before it gets sent off, just put a lever here that you flick and that'll be good. If you want more control, say you want to send the minecart off as soon as it gets one stack of items in it or something, then you place a, a hopper facing into or rather next to the comparator like this. And inside the hopper, say you place two stacks. So now if there's two stacks in the minecart, then the system will, uh, or the minecart will be released. Now this, this is a working version of it. This is, we should actually be able to see it. If we send the minecart in like this, it'll get held in place. Now to make it smart, to, uh, to send it when the, uh, when the minecart or when the chest above is empty, you simply place a block like this you place the comparator here and you place another piston like this with your redstone block and your redstone dust like that. That sends off the minecart. The system is now held open, you see, but as soon as we enter items into this, it'll be closed until the minecart has completely drained the chest. 
the principle of the unloading station is very similar to the loading station. Again, there is a slanted detector rail for the incoming minecarts to go up and a sticky piston that pushes a block in front of the minecart when it's inside the station to keep it in place while it is being unloaded. Um, the main difference here is that this is a wall instead of a full block and this is to keep the minecart low enough so that this other minecart can draw items from it. There's also no smart version of this that keeps the system, the minecart locked if the system is full or anything. Um, I made that consideration but I decided not to include it to not overcomplicate it and I think it's fine with enough processing speed or buffer capacity at the unloading stations. For the unloading station, these are the materials that you need. Again, a detector rail and a temporary rail. For the redstone components, you need a sticky piston, hopper, a comparator, and a redstone dust. You need some building blocks again, three slabs, a stair, and a wall to keep the minecarts in place. And you need an additional minecart with hopper. To build the unloading station, go to the other end of your railway and place a slab with Oh, so two building blocks next to it. In the On the slab you can place your detector rail and on the building block you can place the other temporary rail which you can delete instantly after and replace with another block. You can place a slab on top of the detector again. Now we'll first make the system that holds the minecart in place as long as there is items to be unloaded. We do this by placing a couple of blocks that go out like this and placing a comparator going out of the detector rail. This comparator goes into a block and on top of that block we place a redstone dust. Now on top of this block next to the redstone dust we place a piston and attached to the piston we place a wall. This should hold the minecart in place as long as there is items to be unloaded. Which hopefully in this run there <laughs> the, the minecart will uh, arrive with items. And there you have it. So now for the system to unload the items, make a little bit of room below or build a platform like so and place your stair and slab on top of that. Place a couple of temporary blocks to guide your minecart and place the rail again on top of that like so. You can place your minecart on top of that and I'll actually place another block extra here. You can just push it into place it should slide into the hole like so and now be ready. Yeah, and it's actually unloaded. And now the system is empty again because all items are, uh, are in here. Now, oh, I accidentally removed that slab. These are all temporary blocks that you can remove again or you can keep in place or you can place it underground. And basically below here, what you can do is whatever. You could add more minecarts here to process them further or faster. You could add hoppers here, a hopper chain into whatever system that you have, or you could drop or shoot it out into water streams for further processing. So there you have it. I hope you found this tutorial useful and that the explanations were all clear. If you have any questions or tips or feedback, do feel free to leave a comment. And if you apply this in your world and you want to share it, do feel free to send me a tweet. Um, it's always nice to share ideas and get inspired. Um, I want to thank you so much for watching. I wish you have a great rest of the day and I hope to see you next time.